The suspect in the Appalachian High School shooting made his first appearance in a Winder, Georgia courtroom today. As Steve Harrigan reports, the suspect's father is facing multiple involuntary manslaughter, second degree murder, and cruelty to children charges. The 14 year old accused of killing two students and two teachers at a Georgia high school remains in custody after making his first court appearance on Friday. He faces a maximum penalty of life without parole if he is convicted on felony murder charges. And prosecutors say additional charges will be filed. When he was taken into custody on Wednesday, we did not have the identities or the conditions of the other victims, so we were not able to charge on those offenses. The teen was filed in court by his father, 54-year-old Colin Gray, who was also arrested in connection with the shooting. For a maximum total uh, possible a penalty for the charges that you currently are facing of 180 years imprisonment. Authorities say the charges are related to the suspect's possession of a weapon. Georgia is one of at least 42 states with laws allowing parents to be held criminally responsible for their children's actions. The parents, particularly his father, that provided him with the weapon, that's going to be what the prosecution needs to prove these types of charges. Both the teen suspect and his father were questioned last year after reports the teen allegedly made threats to shoot up a local middle school. At the time, Colin Gray said hunting guns were in the house. He knows the seriousness of weapons and what they can do and how to use them and not use them. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of a shock. The teen and his father will have their first hearings in December. In Winder, Georgia, Steve Harrigan, Fox 13 News.